Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Clown Out. So today, I got the VCMT by Vapor's Cloud. And it is the 30 millimeter, not the 25. So, uh, is it like Velocity? Yes. What? Yes. Is Massive it, airflow. Is it actually like an RDA for once? It is an RDA. It is an RDA. It is an RDA. Then why the fuck do I see a tank? Because I don't know. <laughs> There's, there's a lot of I don't know. <laughs> so when you open it up, you got it sitting in there all pretty. Obviously, I already got it out juiced up, ready to ready to rock. Get your giant spare glass. It seems like it could be a fart can too. It and is a fart it, can. <laughs> you can put it on a car. Little blue screwdriver, Allen key, a shit ton of O-rings. Seven, eight, eight O-rings. Damn. Some screws. Uh, you get, if I can get it out, a metal top piece, and then it comes, what you do? I do. Oh. It comes with the black plastic one. It's a pretty, <clears throat> it's, it's extremely basic. Um. Except there is some weird features on the inside. I'm not taking it apart. It, is it I, bottom fill? I don't. Top it's top fill. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Thanks. top fill right up here up top. All nice and pretty. Unscrew it. Big ol' Oh. Big ol' massive juice filler. So the neat thing is this does have a velocity style deck in it with uh, the airflow on the bottom. Uh, huge, I mean, just fucking giant Grand Canyon style <laughs> airflow. But it's what? weird because you build and you put a, you put a, a sleeve like an RTA, kind of. But there's this weird ring you screw in and it holds your cotton out. But now they're saying that that ring causes leaking, which I haven't had a whole lot of leaking. I had one time and I just tightened it up a little bit and it stopped. But they're saying take that ring out and it fixes the leak problem. So if you do have a VCMT and it is leaking, try taking that little it looks it looks like a it looks like a metal O ring. Oh. And it just threads on like four threads. Take that out and it might fix your leaking problem. And uh yeah, then you assemble it just like a normal tank after that or like a like an R, like an RTA, mm -hmm. you know, but yeah, I mean the little fucker, it hits comparable to an RDA with the ten point five milliliter capacity. So it's 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 fucking awesome. I'm so, not gonna lie. So basically, you need this type of bottle, a hundred twenty mil or fucking ketchup bottles, to make sure that you're gonna be vaping. This this right here. It's 750 mils of juice. I can make that. Yeah. 700, yeah. So basically, like, this is almost like an upgrade of the Smock Quad to where you need a gallon of juice. This in. doesn't even compare to the TF before. Good or bad? This is, I think this is 100 times better. Okay. 100 times better than the TF before. I'm just saying. I have, I have fused parallel Clactons in this right now. Right. And it, the flavor on it is a little choked up. Mm -hmm. I think I think I might not. I think I'm running too power. I don't think I'm running enough watts at the coil as it should be. Mm -hmm. A fear of a burn hit. Oh, uh, okay. So I think that might just be I not using my coils right. But I don't want to burn hit at 160 watts. Right. So. But pretty much what I was going to get at is that, like, you know how the smock tank, it just fucking downs juice like crazy? No, this this is actually pretty con pretty conservative on juice. Oh. I mean, yeah. Sweet. I, I, I like it. I mean, there's a little too much airflow, I think. I turn it, <laughs> I turn it about three quarter or about a quarter of the way off I see and I mean I'll fucking take a few rips and 
pretty much you said earlier that you didn't want to get a burnt hit. So it's kind of like right now, is there a certain limit that you reach to yourself just because you're fear of it or you know it's going to be burnt hit? I've, I haven't had a burnt hit. You haven't had a burnt hit. No, I'm running at 120 watts. I've not had a burnt hit. I just hate burnt hits so bad that I'm not willing to gamble a burnt hit. <laughs> right? Because, I mean, honestly, the back to the 10 things we hate about vaping. Burnt hits? Uh, that's my number one, is a burnt hit. There is nothing worse. <laughs> True. So, oh, if I was to go into a store or even online, how much would I be looking at? Um, I actually seen this is this is the weird part. I've seen them more expensive online than in a store. Yeah. Oh, so this is <clears throat> from. From the people that make them themselves or just random online sites? Random online sites. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I looked up uh I looked it up earlier to get make sure I had all the specs and stuff right. And the website I looked at I had it for seventy four ninety nine. I seen another one for seven or sixty nine ninety nine. And then I seen one for the price I paid of sixty four ninety nine, which is about oh. your normal price for a a larger RDA or right, you know right. a higher high end tank, so yeah, it, it's ranging from about sixty to seventy five dollars. I wouldn't pay anything over probably seventy. Retail, I mean, <clears throat> online, retail or online? No, I mean I I don't see the way the the market is forever changing so fast. Totally, yeah. I I don't see paying you know. $75 for a tank I'm going to use for, you know, a couple months and then something that's going to blow it out of the water is going to come out. And, right. I mean, we all seen it. If you've been in vaping for about three or four months now, you're going to see that the prices just change dramatically. That's a pretty, like, wind tunnel right there. It sounds like a wind tunnel. It does. <laughs> Now let's take from hit from the Buddha. See if that even sounds different. Not really. Is that higher or is this higher? What? Is that is that normal? <coughs> oh, started vaping yesterday. <coughs> yep. Anyways, does that have more noise to it, or or does this have more noise? Uh, to I don't it? know. They're almost about the same. I was inhaling pretty hard. No, I wasn't. So that's more noise. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, it sounds just like normal breathing pretty much, but if you're next to like your, your girlfriend or your boyfriend or even your kids, it's going to be a little noisy. Yeah. You might wake them up. <laughs> you might wake them up. Well, I, I mean, so far it's, it's held up. I mean, I get a little bit when, when you prime the coil, I do get a little bit of spit out. But it's not, I wouldn't consider it leaking because it's just like. Moisture. Yeah, it just looks like real little tiny droplets. Right. That doesn't bother me at all, but I haven't had any severe leakage. I haven't lost a tank of juice or nothing, which would suck in the 10.5 oh, <laughs> milliliter. I mean, you think about how pissed you used to get when you would, you're, you know. Regular so regular tank would leak, you know, like three mil, four mil. Imagine ten mils in your pocket. Oh my god, that that ruined my day. That makes me not want to buy it. No, <laughs> it, I, like I said, man, it hasn't it hasn't done it to me at all. So but go on. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna ask, is that pretty much your go to tank now? Yeah, I I I handed down the TFV four for this, so. And uh, VCMT is uh, Vapor Cloud Mega Tank. Oh, okay. So that's pretty like straight to the point. Yep. And it, I, I mean, scale of 1 to 10 from all the tanks I've tried, and there's a lot of them. So I'm always, I'm always looking for that perfect tank. Same. I, I would honestly give this one probably, if I had a more flavorful build in it, and was still getting the same cloud production, I'd probably give it a 10. But 
as it sits right now, I'd probably give it an eight. Just because I feel like I'm losing a lot of my flavor because I'm, and it's 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 me, it's more me. It's not necessarily the product. I'm just scared of a burnt hit at right. Max Wash. Oh, that was just air. <laughs> I'm saying like, oh my god, is juice coming out? No, <laughs> it was just air. There's a lot of air out there. I can. S- I might steal this thing. Oh, well, I mean, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> I might steal this thing. <laughs> Trade you the RX two hundred for it. <laughs> <laughs> For a down payment of seventy five bucks? No. <laughs> <laughs> that I would say. Okay, for me, just vape on it. You're probably used to this now. You probably do it. I noticed on this type of tank, you almost have to exhale on it to make sure you don't get like the aftermath of mm-hmm. vape in there. Because I'm I'm choking myself up right now. It it comes pretty quick. I mean, that's what she said. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> I like it. So that's our take on the VCMT. I know we didn't get all up close and personal, but it honestly, unless you have to take it apart, as far as from what I've learned from tanks, don't don't take them apart unless you need to. Right. I mean, you wear out your threads, you wear out your seals, and then you get leaking issues. So I'm not going to take it apart until I have to. Right. Basically, tank velocity style deck, put it in a tank, put a fucking huge ass glass piece over it to hold the juice on it, and that's your tank. It is the perfect complement to the Buddha family. Right, right. And I would say, just by hitting it a few times, I give it higher ratings than the the smock tank. I I can't remember exactly what rated it is. It is, though, <clears throat> something we're going to stress to the people who aren't as big into vaping. Mm-hmm. This is a buildable deck. There are no pre-built. pre-builds. There are no pre-built coils. This is a buildable wicket deck. So, basically, I know I, I hate using dumbed-down terms, but it is a RDA in a bowl of juice <laughs> so if you're a novice to this I wouldn't quite recommend it for you but if you really want to get in depth with it and really learn now learn how to do this guy go right ahead honestly I'm not I disagree with your point really? there. if you are new to vaping and you're going from a tank and you want to get into an RDA I recommend getting this mom I'm talking about like because I quit smoking today. oh no god <laughs> but if you're if you're thinking about if you're at tank status right now, you know sub tank low watts, and you want to get in the RDA world, but you don't want to deal with the hassle of dripping, um, this, this would is this is it because the build deck on it is massive. You have so much room to not screw up in, and it's big, and you can sit there and work with it. It's not tiny. I mean. The build deck is, is gorgeous. It's I mean it's a giant, it's a temple. It's like, yeah, it's, it's like the temple. It, it, it looks ex- the, the build deck looks exactly like the temple except for there's giant airflow holes in the bottom of it. <laughs> but I I think it I like it I like it a lot. I'm very happy with this purchase. Wicking out with your no, rocking out with your wick out. I'm gonna call it. it. I'm gonna say it like that. So, <laughs> rocking out with your cock out. Cloud out studios lightly. <laughs> we'll cloud now. <laughs>